Not a good thing for Mad Lions. Your thoughts? Look, man, there's not much, I think, that, that, that that's good news for Mad Lions heading into this map, Hugo. You know, this isn't this isn't a great one for them. And also, <clears throat> I think this could have been any map. And the problem is, is that Na'Vi are looking like the Na'Vi we wanted to see all year long. So, yeah, it, it, just, it feels like it's very unfortunate timing for Mad Lions. I like to think that, you know, this team is capable of a lot and that they have the chance to remain resilient. But I just, I can't think of a team that no matter how good they usually are, when you're going up against the simple in top form, that, that like can actually do anything about that. So let's see, right? Maybe they can surprise us. But yeah, I don't think it's it's a, it's a great look out of the gate. Perfecto in this pistol round takes it by storm. He gets three. And with it, the B site has fallen. It's all onto A core here. One versus three, down through the connector. And he might be able to catch the first man by surprise. No one's looking this way just yet, but I think Simple, yeah, just saw him there. So this is going to prompt the rotation back from the rest of the gang. Everyone's looking at Catwalk. And Na'Vi, they'll find the pistol. Yeah, nice show from Perfecto on the entries. Mad Lions are ready for the B play as well. They even had a set nade going in Monster as that push came through. But Na'Vi, absolutely no fear. And a force buy in the second for Mad Lions. Pretty standard on the CT side. Acor saves for the AWP in the follow-up, or at least a, a few rounds time. Na'Vi have got a couple of SMGs here, so there's certainly a world where Mad Lions can find a force victory. Oh, Bubski doesn't realize he's a player out in the open. It's simple doing damage. Bubski does get away with his life, though. We'll be grateful for that. The only a site player, and now he's going to go back to it. Mad Lions, quad setup in B. This looks to be like where Na'Vi want to end up, right? The bomb is outside Monster. We have Na'Vi just holding passive mid right now. Trying to make sure Mad Lions aren't getting aggressive. Off the back of all of this B noise. And now that they've cleared the connector, they can rotate wherever they want. That bomb's actually going to go back up from T-Spawn. Flamey holds the B area. Trying to sell a bit of a fake with utility later on, perhaps. And Na'Vi are going to take this bomb towards middle and long and start to move up towards the MTA site. Let's see if old mate Flamer can flame on over here towards Schultz's side. Oh, the bomb is like do a floating around connector and it looked yeah. like for a moment maybe they were considering going down to B. Oh, Very glad dear. they haven't. And it does still look like this A commitment now. There's been enough time for these rotations to come in for Mad Lions. They are going to have players here inside of the bomb site. Lots. Yeah, this is uh, this is going to be a weird one. Bomb goes in first. Boomich has dropped it and given it over. Bubsky and Acor have both found a killer piece, and, and no one's even fallen for Mad Lions. Flamey is suddenly left in a one v five, and that is, yeah, that is ugly for from Navi, man. Like you know, yeah. they they try and get into the site. They really take their time. At which point, Mad Lions have had more than enough time to rotate players up. They send the bomb in first. Boomish dies immediately, and then the rest of the gang just kind of trickle in one at a time. Yeah, it's it's the fact that Navi give away the execute, right? Like the whole time they're they're you know being loud outside of B, hoping the Mad Lions keep that stack. They do. Navi at any point could have pushed A and had only Bubsky with 30 health there on his own. No one else is there at all. And then Navi throws this utility that essentially signals they're pushing A. It lands in front of Shaw, which cuts off Mad Lion's point of view. And Navi take like 20 seconds after that util is thrown to actually get the commitment going. And yeah, Mad Lions by that point have a full rotate available. So yeah, very weird round. If Navi just play it faster in any capacity, they win. Or if they drop B, they win. But fortunately, they walk into a five-man A setup and now are left with very little. Mad Lions can build into this game here, start to take a lead on the CT side. They've got guns to play with. Na'Vi certainly don't. An SMG and four pistols. Just milling about right now, looking for picks. Mitch is going to work his way up towards these sandbags. But Na'Vi, you know, they've still got players at long. They've got this connector control. And so if Boomich can make a bit of a stand here at B, he's going to force rotations down 
from this A bomb site. And actually, with Navi throwing in utility, they haven't rotated a single man away. Mad Lions are actually going to keep this A stack in play, and they even start to rotate Shush up. Navi walking in to the stack. They're not able to deal with A Corp. Castilians helped out, and Electronic is going to fall shortly thereafter. So, Mad Lions, they do get that round on the board. A second as they beat back the, uh, the force by of Navi. Yeah, Electronic had an AK there, but I'm guessing it had no ammo. It probably picked up from Roy on the corner. Unfortunate stuff. Yeah, Roy did spray all of his bullets there trying to survive. Went down with one at least. The Mad Lions, they take two. They take a lead as Navi are on four PC-50s and blocks. Flash into middle. Mad Lions wanting to take a bit of an early advantage, but I don't think they really need to worry about pressuring because Navi have nothing. Image waiting through the connector as well. Two outside monster, spamming smokes, hoping for the best, trying to draw as much utility out of Mad Lions as they can, knowing that this is going to cost them in the long run, right? It's easy to throw a grenade and not think about the possible economic consequences as, you know, they are cheap, but each Molotov, $600, adds up pretty quickly. I'm, I'm impressed with the fact that no one here has died from Na'Vi, despite the amount of presence they've shown and the amount of spamming they've done. They have survived into the minute mark as five, moving into middle. Mad Lions with only two here, and luckily for Na'Vi, this is actually the emptiest the A site has been when they commit. The question here is, will they commit? Because if they go fast, they'll beat Mad Lions on the rotate. But I love this. Mad Lions have been very, very quick to uh, rotate back up. They move one to heaven. They put a Cillian on A. It's definitely easier to retake that B bomb site than it is A with how easy it is to like use utility to smoke off short and, uh, and just stick the bomb on B. For A, it's a lot harder job. T's can just, you know, hang around in the toilets and be a real nuisance and jiggle peek and spot that bomb defuse. So Mad Lions would rather have more on this top site uh, off of this gamble. Right now, Navi are doing the classic. Guys, you push A, I'll plant B. But simple, he's probably going to get pushed on short here. It might not go well for him. That's exactly what happens. Yeah, so now we're finally going to get to see some investment back in from Na'Vi. Kind of hoping that they can uh, pick the pace back up once again, right? These slow rounds, it feels like they, they've given Mad Lions a lot of like time to rotate and, and kind of read what Na'Vi are attempting to do here. In this round, Mad Lions are actually the ones looking to bring the aggression from their side. They push into mid and they've beat Simple on the timing and I don't think he realizes that just yet. So... He's got to be careful because there's already a player at Fountain. Then there's two players stacked between Party and Long. Bubsky's holding for Con and Perfecto checks it. But he does like to check where you check the corner, but you already have kind of decided that there's no one in the corner before you go round. Yeah, that's a bit of a mistake there. That's something that's going to cost Narvi and Electronic. He needs to save them some bang for their buck. He does take down one in middle. Cillian's pushed up on long side, cutting off any cross towards A, and so as a result, Acor just needs to worry about the connector, and even then, it's going to hang around for a little bit, but might even drop B with the fact that we have such a deep position for a Cillian. That would be a bit of a mistake, though, because this bomb is still hanging about, and Na'Vi seemed to want to regain this area of the map. Electronic has his knife out, but he's running away, and a Cillian, oh, he might have heard it, but he doesn't want to push, he doesn't want to reposition, and now Na'Vi, they're going to grab that bomb, they're going to move. Well, they go back towards middle to clear this area. Simple has, but he hasn't realized the shot's going through. He hits it. That's despicable. Simple. But the only issue with that is he's running down towards B. That's something a silly in a scene. Simple is running away. And so will Mad Lions try and stack B off the back of that information? 20 seconds left. Navi have to go. This two watching monster. Oh, shush. Opens up with one. Simple gets the trade. Oh. Boomich going to follow up as well in this... Uh... Tight. Ooh, well, they got a little bit dicey there because there was very little time left. A core could have done something from heaven, but luckily enough, Simple will provide all the kills needed. Navi, grab that second round. 
Yeah, if Bubsky gets a kill from site there, it's a very different one, right? Like, Shush trades one for one, he does some damage. Bubsky's on the site, there's one man coming from short, it's Boomage. M4 versus uh, Galil. If Bubsky wins it, he can stall the, uh, stall the plant out for long enough that Acor can actually get some value out of that heaven position. But, yeah, one missed fight, and sometimes that can be the difference between a win and a loss. Flash towards short, they're gonna go quick through Con. There's so many players here. Flamey flashed out, and he gets two with Perfecto. Cillian might push this smoke, but that would be dangerous. Acor's been tagged with his orb through the wall. He might have jumped and been dinked. That sounds more likely. Cillian gonna try and re-aggress. It's a good idea. They are down by two, and he's caught Flamey. Oh, unbeknownst to him, trying to throw utility. That's a free kill, but it will get punished by Boomish, who's outside a monster. No, Cillian's quick. He predicts the angle, and now in a three-on-three, -three, this has been flipped on its head. He can retreat towards B, and Mad Lions can set up for a winnable round. Navi is still in spawn. Simple and Roy might be about to have a bit of a chance encounter here. And, oh, the timing just missed. But this is kind of advantageous for Mad Lions. Roy gets the information that mid is clear. And so as a result, it's going to facilitate the second man to rotate down and keep this position on B. Roy has got all the info as to where they are at con and mid. And so you're afforded this, this kind of extra presence down towards the B site as a result. And now, Na'Vi, they might try and go up the connector. Yeah, they, they, they don't have time. They look like they were interested in that for a moment. But now they go back into B. Two players here. they got to get past the Cillian and Acor. Cillian's been spotted, but not dealt with. He puts up a kill. They do find Acor, but with 10 seconds left, these kills Ooh, have got to no. come in. Bomb plant now looking to come through. And Na'Vi, they just get that bomb planted. Roy has come in from this flank all the way through mid. Simple turns and does the bulk of the damage. Electronic has just got to finish the job. Roy not giving this fight up just yet, but Electronic will get it. And he's got it dead to right. Na'Vi, three on the board. And they find another one, leaving it down to the wire. Wow, that was so well played from Simple and Electronic. I mean, uh, you know, often it is in these two VXs, but just you know, entering into B, Simple hunting the kill. Electronic sticks the bomb with seconds remaining. Na'Vi, they may like these late rounds, these very, very you know, uh, scary rounds for a viewer, at least, watching them go in with 15 seconds. But boy, are they good at converting them. You know, we, we've seen blunders, we've seen uh, rounds messed up, but Na'Vi, you don't forget the ones that, or you do forget the ones they win, I guess. Bomb's been lost, but like, Luckily, it's only pistols. Electronic is going to start to tear them apart. Oh dear, he's down low. Uh, he doesn't care. Four kills, four rounds. Navi back in control here. They may have lost to the second round force, which put them on a bit of a, a slow start to this map. But now that has truly turned around. Luckily enough, so is Mad Lions' economy. Another orb out for Acor and a full buy in the eighth. Did he hit the Cillian with that? I think he did hit a Cillian with that orb shot through the wall. The Cillian took 30 damage there. I don't know how an orb wall bank's 30. I guess that leg shot. But that's mad. That's actually mad. You could also wall bang the graffiti wall, this this massive concrete wall on the right, uh, you know, next to the connected door into graffiti from B short with an orb. NATO Sapphic's got a kill um, in a, when he was playing for Heroic in Pro League through that wall with the orb against a saving player. It's crazy, I've only seen it once, but it is possible. Nice shot from Perfecto, clearing out B Water and getting this part of the map back under the control for Na'Vi. Do they want to go for another late round B execute? Right now they aren't sold, so still holding on to pretty much everything. Yeah, this is like Acor to get like a little bit curious as to what's going on in mid and he tries to go for this information play. Now he does actually catch Electronic and him doing all this is once again allowed for an extra man to rotate down to this B bomb site. However, Simple arriving later, snipes Bobski away. He's going to commit through the long smoke, not expecting a Cillian to be here as well. And that is his downfall. Perfecto now. 1v2 does find a silly and through the smoke. Acor is already in position over here at short. Smoke down for Perfecto. He's going to try and cross behind it. 
Arm tapped, hoping that that baits the peak. Wow. And Perfecto navigates the 1v2 perfectly. Na'Vi, five on the board. And these slow rounds, they're, they're working right now. And, you know, they're really making uh, Mad Lions sweat a bit in, in, in kind of the mid-round. Yeah, it, it's always scary watching Na'Vi do these slow rounds. Like, even though it is their bread and butter and it's something they do a hell of a lot, it always makes me very, very nervous. But I don't know, today they're looking comfortable in them. Matt, seen Perfecto pick up that AWP in the one-on-one -on -one after he's already had two great AK kills. I, I, you know, that intrigued me. I, I, versus Acor, I love the confidence. Navi must be feeling good right now. Like, you know, willing to try one-on-one -on -one the enemy AWP player with their own weapon. And that's not one that, you know, Perfecto is known for. But, yeah, I mean, great work nonetheless. This bike, RIP, has been removed in the latest update. But that's a good thing, because as you can see, Asilian's making the most of that position. It is gimpy as anything. Uh, you very much get hidden behind it. They've also removed the windows in the toilets on overpass uh, A site. So you can't do that boost up on short. And I think that's a good thing as well. I, don't, I didn't like that boost. It was, it was super easy to run with, with almost no way to punish it. And you get lots of info. And it's very hard to see someone through those windows if they haven't broken them. So yeah, it's a good fix in my opinion. Now, pistols only for Mad Lions here. They've actually peeled back from long. Electronic spots one, but he doesn't know that there are four players here, or three more on the A site. So he'll fall back a little bit and wait for his team to come in. Na'Vi want to trade these kills at bare minimum. Uh-oh. It's another one of these rounds where Flamey is selling a B fake and the rest of the gang are slowly but surely pressuring this A site. Now, they actually rotate the bomb back through connector after Flamey gets that kill. And in doing so, they're, they're walking into to the stack B bomb site. Boomich is wrapping heaven. And so he's coming in through CT. He should be able to help out, but there's very little time left. And Bubsky drops the bomb. Luckily enough, Boomich arrives with just enough time on the clock. This is like this is the scary <laughs> thing about like the Navi slow style is that is that very often it feels like they end up just walking into a site with very little information to go off of. You know they they are just kind of committing and hoping, um, and and as a result, like it feels like every one of these rounds, no matter the investment from Mad Lions, is always very very close, even when maybe it shouldn't be. So it's a little bit scary. Now we got a double AWP in play for Mad Lions. Fifty four twenty three against Big in March. Harry, I'm sure you remember that game as well. That was a game that simple lost. Simple lost yeah. that app on Dust that Two. Was, uh, Dust, so, sorry, right? no. Let me reword that. Let me reword that. Simple didn't lose. Navi lost that map. Simple had fifty four kills. Uh, but yeah, Big. They've looked really good, and not just back there, but even here as well. They they fought to G two yesterday, but they are making a real run in the playoffs right now. They're going to be taking on the winner of this game versus the winner of phase nip so in this case like likely navi phase I, like the winner of that is is what that looks like but you know surprises have happened nip have looked good as well fast play bubsky plays the molotov and he sees right through it dropping simple boomish is already low outside the monster and electronic is alone in middle no one to trade that kill there's two players here for mad lions they are in full control of this round oh navi is just hoping for anything but flamey has been caught and perfecto he may have connector but boomish might not have the bomb for too much longer roy's here to stay Yeah, the question for Perfecto is is how much damage can he do in this round? There's a man looking at Con, so yeah, none is going to be the answer. Acor is just homed in with that AWP. This double AWP setup gives a decent result over to Mad Lions right out the gate. Three kills coming from these AWPs that were in play. And so what's Na'Vi's solution going to be now that they've spotted this double AWP setup? Set out, set up for Mad Lions. Uh, they actually Ooh. don't invest into this round, which is I like that. Just the uh, the hero AK entrusted onto Simple, and they're gonna triple. Uh, sorry, what am I even saying, man? They're gonna five man boost him up for the. Uh, oh, hang on, we'll do it again. We'll do it again. Don't worry, Blamey. Right come on. Ooh, there we go. He's up. No, nope. oh, slowly but surely <laughs> he falls down. Oh. Well, it's not the most majestic of beginnings, but let's see if they can pick it up now as they group up outside of the B-bomb site. 
Madeline's are probably ready for this. You can see Acor's running back to A. Now, he will check long at a timing, but I imagine he's just going to drop B and pretty soon as well. Na'Vi have done nothing in middle round, and that's pretty clear to Mad Lions. There's that orb rotating, and boy, oh boy, this round just got, I think, twice as hard now for Na'Vi as they walk into a quad stack. There's two orbs here. Bubsky's look better on this weapon as well. He had a couple of missed rifle kills, so the secondary orb in his hands is paying dividends to Mad Lions. Losing Boomage earlier, Na'Vi. They still want to commit here. Electronic swaps out the pistol, but Bubsky, he's still waiting. He's still raring to go. There's another. Na'Vi are getting picked apart before they even get through the tunnel, and now is the time to go. Oh, and into a silly and they run. Simple. We'll put up one, and he does still have Perfecto nearby to help out, but now it is just simple, and Bubsky's going to find him with the AWP. This attempt at the B play really doesn't work out for Na'Vi. Now, it was only the one AK in that round, right? There's a reinvestment coming, and Electronic has even dropped an AWP over this Simple. And we're going to drop an AK back. So, everyone's got everything they could possibly need here for Na'Vi. One thing that is kind of important to bear in mind is that the utility is a little bit limited. And considering how slowly we like, we know Na'Vi like to play, that kind of limits what you're able to do in terms of like throwing these fakes in and contesting this map control. Patience outside that B site might be rewarded here for Simple. Bubsky's getting aggressive. Oh, nice check. Simple's going to get it. And that's a big early kill for the Na'Vi in this round. Be smoke on the tunnel for Shush. But that doesn't really do a whole lot now because all it is is, you know, patching a bullet wound. Na'Vi is still in advantage. And Electronic, oh, this is big because you know, Na'Vi are outside of B, but if Electronic can get a kill, force a rotate, you do anything, keep these players on the site. There's only two players on lower right now, and that would be good for Na'Vi. There's a lot of, of you know, possibilities from this position for Electronic, but that's a nice shot. Akel hits the best peak you'll ever see onto Perfecto. Couldn't time, couldn't be timed better. And Electronic, he's cleared the site. He's about to realize that Acor's running back. He's going to get caught dead without a chance. Electronic might want this bomb to rotate up, but that is going to be a big problem. This is the mind game now. Do Mad Lions rotate up, or does Electronic flank their back line? Elysilian getting the info. He's found two. Na'Vi trading, but the bomb's been lost outside Monster. This is a mess. How has this fallen apart? They had everything, and the aggression from Mad Lions has provided solutions. Shush with another. It's Electronic who won't commit for, uh, pushing through A, coming back through Con. Yeah, he needs the kills and he needs them now or else this round is over. 20 seconds and Electronic is sneaking, but there's no time to sneak. There's no time for silence. He's got to be fast and he's got to be ferocious here. Electronic first kill found and now just Roy left to beat, but 10 seconds. Roy has seemingly every advantage here. Electronic has to stick the bomb plant and in doing so, he will get deleted. Roy peeks up. And Electronic goes down. It's six on the board for Mad Lions. And that round there completely falls apart. The time even betraying Na'Vi at the very, very end. It looked like they had that one dead to rights. But you're bang on this decision to take the aggression. Shush, timing it well, finding the bomb, shutting down a second man. The Danes are going to tie this one up now. And once again, they break the money of Na'Vi. Yeah, Na'Vi seems so surprised by that reaction. To be fair, that's like the last thing you would expect, but Mad Lions, like, great play, and, and really, Na'Vi just dropping the ball. They had every every advantage, every chance to win that round, and Mad Lions are going to keep this one going. Some wall bang spam for Simple, but he's lost his teammate in Flamey on short. Shush has support. Oh, dear, just getting out with 20 health is Bubsky jumping over the shots. Could have a boost up here on short for Na'Vi, but... They don't really have any guns to play with, and they're getting made very quick work of. Nice spam for Bubsky, controls the spray, and two left here for Na'Vi. Not for too much longer, I'd imagine. Ooh! Oh dear. <laughs> oh no. Well, it's not going great. Stuff going great, has it? But Mad Lions back in the lead. They're feeling good about that one. Seven of their name now. And a chance to win out this first half of play. I'm glad this is more competitive than Mirage, right? That was you know, obviously great to watch uh, Simple get 37 kills in a 20-round in a, like map. But, you know, at least Mad Lions are showing us why they're here, why they made it to the playoffs, how they can be competitive against some of the top-tier teams here. And... 
Well, right now, it's holding the lead in Na'Vi's map pick, but it's early days. Roy is burning that Molotov. Oh, no, Cillian's on his head as well. And because he's on the stairs, Roy can't walk upstairs. He's essentially getting blocked from that. And, you know, yeah, just kind of had to walk into it. Cillian pushes the smoke. Paul was waiting for that. The bomb will get spotted in con, but it comes a, a kill for Na'Vi. Boomich flashing short and setting Flamey up to take this position. Na'Vi once again crunching the B-site, but his aggression from Mad Lions seems to be the solution, or so they think. Definitely not working. Bubsky getting caught as well, and now the hole is just getting dug deeper and deeper underground. It's only the AWP on B in the hands of Acor. And this has been a lot more back and forth, and oh, we get to see the replay of this. Devastating. He even tries to move back. Oh, and then a silly and like drops the, the smoke a second after Roy dies just to rub salt in the wound. I could have saved you as well, Roy. There's the reminder. Early on, it's going to be the Molotovs over into mid. I love these mollies that you see teams do where you throw like the, the two, right? The one at the stairs and then one into the uh, park as well. It's great because it, it either forces you to, to waste utility, like two smokes on the Na'Vi nah side or whoever's playing T side, right? If you're doing this in your game. Um, but like the alternative is, is like usually what happens is you put out that first smoke and then you try and run into park. Uh, and then obviously there's a Molotov there as well. So either you need to commit and put both out or you just end up waiting or you run through the Molotov and, and are forced to yeah. take damage. So it's a great way to just really kind of force the uh, the T side to have to rid themselves of utility or HP or not take that ground early. Yeah, and we've been seeing a lot of mid pushing for Mad Lions, right? Like playing off the back of those Molotovs, going towards the fountain, being it, it, getting up in the face. That you know goes along well with that utility. We even have um, a, a smoke that I've seen some teams use, not as frequently, that lands faster. That you throw from spawn uh, from this A site, and it lands where the first Molly lands in the stairwell. So like you know, Navi if if or the T's, yeah, would have to walk through a smoke with no info and, you know, there could be a mid-push there. So, you see that sometimes, but pe people prefer Molotovs for, for good reason. On the extra damage as well and the, the further danger of going through it. Now to B-push. Na'Vi are going to commit with 20 seconds, surprise, surprise, in the last of the half. There's two here and two more coming from up, but already dropping into the site. Simple's got an opening kill. Roy needs something. He can't find it. Shush, a monster with only one and the trades are good for Mad Lions, but Na'Vi have the bomb plant. Yeah, and they know where Acor is. The only mystery right now is Acillian. And simple is slowly but surely wrapping him. Now, Acillian looks ready for this. He's holding down the uh, the short tunnel. Acillian unable to win that fight. And Perfecto deals with Acor inside. Well, 8-7 now the end of the first half of play. And uh, Na'Vi, they're, they're in the lead right now. They're also 1-0 up in this series already. So any Na'Vi fans out there are probably feeling pretty happy as to how this one has panned on out. Mad Lions beginning their T side. Then imagine we're going to see them fall into the same kind of slow plays that Na'Vi do. Mad Lions, they're a lot more about uh, kind of, you know, Hugo, word that you've used a lot, misdirection. They love it. They love a bit of a fake do this T side and to do that you got to be fast you got to be confident and you've all got to be on the same page so in this round they're quick over here towards long you might recognize this this is a bit of a matchmaking classic it's the old go long down con in towards the B site later in the round however a Cillian was dropped early on at long and Na'Vi they've seen this play a million times before they've already rotated down to this B bomb site they've kept the stack here while all this has gone on, Perfecto is the pistol king of Na'Vi as well. It feels like every pistol round, he's here putting up multi-kills. And this one is no different. Three kills from him and a ninth on the board for Na'Vi. Hugo, I've said your name a lot. I've inferred that you exist, but I think it's about time I let you say your piece. Yeah, perfecto. He gets three in both pistol rounds here, Harry. Three entries in B in the T side and three defensive kills in B in the CT side. He's certainly been having a good game. And when Perfecto's having a good game, it really shows for Na'Vi. Like, we got Flamey and Boomich, six and four kills respectively, and Na'Vi is still holding a lead. Like, that just shows that the game plan is working, even if, you know, not everyone is fragging. That's fine. Mad Lions, they're on eco. This is a 10th round for Na'Vi through and through. And they've just got to make it so simple with two. 
Oh dear, that's a gun given over. They need to quickly deal with that before it becomes a problem. Electronic trying to finish off. Could peek on the reload. Doesn't, but Roy walks into him and Electronic has removed that M4 for now. He won't be letting anyone take it back. And well, he'll take back this round. Shush holding mid with a P2. And this one's done. Nice shot onto Flame. He catches him midair, but it's only an SMG. It's not going to save his bacon. And Electronic is cooking with gas. It's up to 10 for Na'Vi. Madline's coming in with their third round buy. Simple's taking the orc down here into the connector. There's two players on the other side, but Simple ready to go. Shuts down the first man. Shush is quick to get that trade, and you can see him just pick up the pace. You know, you don't want to let Simple get another shot off there. That's how he tears you apart. So they get that trade nice and quickly. Find this four on four, but Flamey gets flashed in down here towards the B side of the map to take the man advantage back in favor of Na'Vi. Mad Lions, they, they leave mid. They often, they often leave it. They rotate back with this bomb. And they look to set up over here towards the B-bomb side. Now, there's still plenty of time if Mad Lions did want to change this up. They've also got con control. But with how things are looking right now, they're to commit in towards B. And that's a bit of a uh, problem. There's three players for Na'Vi here. This is an even gunfight. And these are the fights that you really don't want in a game of Counter-Strike. Going to try and get in. Lady shuts down the first man. Perfecto follows up. And now, as Shush is looking to deal with the player down here in the pit, Boomich is just allowed to swing out and secure that free kill to finish off the round and end it in favor of Na'Vi. Yeah, that's, that's nice for Boomich, right? He's 5 and 11. He's clearly having a rough game. So what he does there is he hides graffiti and lets Na'Vi hold with two. And he waits. He doesn't peek at all. He waits for Mad Lions to do exactly what Shush just did, right? Consider the fact that there's only two B players. And then Boomich comes out swinging when Shush has discounted a CT player. Nice little, you know, play to, to guarantee a safe kill there for Boomich and not risk giving away an advantage. You don't want to do that if you're Na'Vi. And luckily, the players taking the fight are the players winning the fight. So electronic and simple, finding three kills kills in an instant. Both of them will fall though, getting significant damage on these last two players, Shush and Acor on 30 and 15 respectively. Guns at their feet and the bomb back in mid. There is a good chance to make something happen. The health could hold them back, but quick kills, getting headshots here, that will save you. Mad Lions, where do they want to go? Na'Vi aren't re-aggressing, so it's up to the T's to make their choice. Acto is waiting patiently, and if he's even able to get one and then just hide, he's done enough. You don't want him to die right away, and they sneak beneath his crosshair. Look at them go. Shush and Acor, these tiny little men creeping in. Oh dear. Perfecto swings wide, but he does get dealt with. Well now, Flamey and Boomich. Nade's going to delete Acor. He wasn't able to get the bomb down as a result, and Boomich coming on in. Only had to land one shot there to deal with Shush. So Na'Vi, 12-7. Five now the difference between them and the Mad Lions. Reinvestment going to come on through from either side. We do get to see the AWP in the hands of Acorp. But there's also one with some dude who you might know called Simple now. Heard the name. Yeah, he's, he's all right from what I've heard. Oh, he's oh, going to keep an eye out for the... I thought, he, I thought he was going to go for the wall bang, if I'm honest. Like, Is that a wall worried. bang? I thought that was from, uh, from, from Spawn A. Uh, we don't see that enough in pro games, right? I've been killed by that, Harry. I've been killed by that. Yeah, recently, dude, I was in the year. game with you. That was, yeah. uh, that was a very unique one when that happened. Yeah, I've never had that happen. And you're just walking out of T-Spawn, you just die to a site by an orb headshot. I'm like, oh, okay, cool. Just complete RNG and timing. And obviously I'm dead, but yeah, I'd love to see more players try that. Like if you're not taking your spawn mid, just spam it. Like you could get a tag. I don't know. I feel like it's it's not consistent by any means, but what is? 
Got to do whatever you can to get ahead. Electronic, he's on a flank right now, and he is getting behind, but he actually might miss the timing. Grenades in middle give away the fact that he's actually lost this, and players have pushed past him, so he's telling Na'Vi to be aware of that A site. Boomish has gone up to rotate to join Simple, and Electronic has decided to flank B instead. This is the right call, because the bomb is here, and not even considering the possibility. Electronic might have just won this entire damn round. Oh, he's getting close. He's trying to get as much value out of this as he can. Oh, he only gets one. That's a bit of a bit of a shame. Electronic Ooh. playing the trigger discipline. And Shush gets a double in the meantime. How on earth have Mad Lions gotten back into this round? Deary, deary me. This was not how you imagined it was going to go at all. However, Boomich wow. deletes Bobski through the smoke. And now it's all on Shush. He's had a fantastic double to start this round off for Mad Lions. Now he's going to finish it off with two more. King for Simple does find damage. See, it terrifies me whenever players tag Simple, but they don't kill Simple. I feel like all you've done now is make him angry. And Shush, with this Glock, not the weapon of choice. Definitely not what you'd want. Like, they are just waiting him out. Boomich tries to take the fight. Oh! The Glock actually does best. Boomich now just Simple left, and he's going to land the shot needed. Shush falls. Na'Vi, they'll get that 13th round. And the skin of their team. Man, you got to give it to Shush, though. Not only some incredible entries, that second kill was sick, but he commits with a Glock there. If he reloads, he gets pushed, and he knows it, so he has to. Like, It's not like he has many choices. Maybe, you know, I, I think he, if he instantly reloaded, he would have had the timing, but he didn't. Uh, he thought they were closer, and yeah, he gets a kill with it. Like, fair play, double dinking boomage, but simple. He's not going to fall to a Glock, even on 30 health. 13 to 7. Na'Vi have had a flawless CT side here, Harry. It's five in a row, and Simple just picking them out of the spawn. Oh no. Oh no, Harry. He's ready for everything. Stalemate around this smoke. This is so weird. And Electronic has pushed mid again. And so what this allows is for this four-man hold inside of the B site. And so Mad Lions don't know it, but if they commit to this play, Na'Vi, they've got four guys ready and raring to go to hold it down. Boomich is actually rotating back up, and so is Simple. But this this comes as like a consequence of not having connector, and you're worried that they could have gone up con. But that's not the case. And luckily enough, Flamey and Perfecto have locked this entire round down between the two of them. Electronic is flanking again. And so even though Asilian gets that kill, he should get dealt with right about now. And there it is. Electronic going to pick it up. 14 on the board for Na'Vi as they look to send Mad Lions home in a 2-0 fashion. Yeah, just to remind people as well, right? Not only is this Navi's map pick, but it's a map that Mad Lions have only played once in 2020. It was a win versus VP, but you know, not a lot of data to go off of. And 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 you know, the problem of not playing officials on any map is when you start going in. Like, I'm sure they had a game plan. The fact that they leave this map open in the series means they they you're probably ready for it to get picked. But you know, it, it means you don't have things to fall back on. You don't have that experience in officials that oh, okay, guys, this works. This does. We this is what we usually do when we're having a rough time. But they just don't have that. Practice is the same. And well, right now, Navi is showing them how difficult these officials can be. Electronic with four. It's him and Simple just running the board right now. Perfecto's had a great map here on Overpass as well, but everyone's played their role to perfection. And Navi, a flawless CT side here, a single round away from kicking Mad Lions out of DreamHack Masters and going on for another day. Lines look like they might just try and end this all with a fast B play. I mean, this round, Navi actually only have two players here. Simple is rotating down, but Flamey and Perfecto what? not able to stand their ground. They do get two. Simple up in heaven with the AWP gets smoked off, so he doesn't have much of a say as the site take comes on in. Electronic's over here towards short side and is wrapping up. It's him, Boomich, and Simple. And Electronic gonna spam Acor out of the round. Roy tries to take matters into his own hands, but gets cut down as well. It's a silly and left up in the 1v3. And it's a team ace to round this one out for Na'Vi. They'll take this series 2-0. 16-7 here on 